Wonderful morning for everybody. So this is Kumar Gupta from Asia Training Solutions. Uh, welcome to the videos. Uh, so today I got a request from uh, one of the students, Maran, uh, a wonderful guy uh, whom I'm giving the project support. Uh, so he asked me uh, if uh, on the Fiddler, once the request has been captured, can we edit that and can we rerun it from the Fiddler itself? Okay. It's, we can do that, it's not difficult. I thought it will, this particular thing might be useful for some of the performance testers out there. A wonderful feature. So uh, just, I, I felt, you know, it's a good thing to share it with you guys. So I thought, you know, I'll, I'm, I'm sharing it with you. Uh, and as for Isha Training Solutions, we provide uh, performance testing trainings uh, uh, for uh, almost every single tool, uh, Load Runner Performance Center, NeoLoad, uh, JMeter, RPT, Microsoft VSTS, and uh, pretty much all the protocols. Okay, you need any training needs or any project implementations in your company or project supports, you can always call me, okay? So, uh, well, how to do that, okay? First, let's open Fiddler and then we'll capture uh, some basic uh, things. So I'll use the same uh, web tools, okay? So web tools application. So launch the page, yeah, it's capturing, and then log in. So, well, it's capturing, and then log out. Yes, the request is captured. And by the way, the prerequisite uh, for this, uh, watching this, before you watch this video is you have to have a little bit of knowledge on Fiddler. Okay, that's the expectations. Uh, <clears throat> I'm concentrating only on modifying a particular sampler or, or, or request. Okay, so you see this is uh, the, the, the sampler or the request for the login. And as you can see here, uh, if you can look at the raw data, here is where you have the username and password. Now I wanted to change this username and password, let's assume, okay, and then play around with that. So first what, what I have to do is you right click on it and then unlock for editing, okay, then you can go ahead and edit it. So uh, I can edit it over here, I believe, I didn't try, but the best, the best place to edit is in the web forms. In the inspectors, you go to the web forms and you have all the data that you wanted the, over here uh, the, with the post request, whatever the input data. So you can change uh, the, the, the username or password or whatever it is. So assuming that the username test and password test is there. So I've modified it. Now I wanted to rerun it. Just right click on it. And uh, when you replay it, you have quite a few things here. You can just reissue the uh, request. Uh, reissue edit and reissue verify. So I'll, I'm going to typically people use reissue and verify. So I'm going to use this reissue and verify. Just click on that and you see it is not only reissued but verified and here the color is red which means that uh, it didn't went through. So you can look at the response as to why it didn't went through or what is the mistake. You can go to the uh, response over here and clearly here says that the username, uh, um, uh, your user password was incorrect. Okay prompt the user to fix the password. So definitely whatever the username password that you have given, uh, either the username or the password is incorrect. Okay, so this is how you can edit a request or the payload that you have in the request or the input data uh, for the post request and then you can verify it, re replay that particular request and verify it. So yes, for a performance tester, it might be useful at some places if you if you you know in, in the in the in the load runner it is failing with certain data uh, you wanted to check it and you already have the fiddler file you can come back here and then you know instead of going to the application you can come back here modify the data and then play back and uh, you know verify it so mostly i think the developers uh, will have more advantage uh, or, you know using this option uh, but I'm sure performance testers now can start using Fiddler much more and then you know you can play around so Fiddler is not just network capturing tool it's much more powerful you can explore a lot of uh, options here so thank you for listening to this video guys so catch you in the next video